NATO has two to three years to prepare for confrontation with Russia, Norway's top general. The head of the Norwegian Armed Forces, General Erik Christoffersen, believes that the North Atlantic Alliance's window of opportunities to prepare for a possible confrontation with Russia has shrunk to two to three years. He said this in an interview with Bloomberg. Christofferson noted that NATO had previously given Russia up to 10 years to restore its military capabilities depleted by the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. At one point, someone said, it'll take 10 years, but I think we're back to less than 10 years because of the industrial base that is now running in Russia. It will take some time, which gives us a window now for the next two to three years to rebuild our forces, to rebuild our stocks at the same times as we are supporting Ukraine, Christofferson added. The commander of the Norwegian Armed Forces noted that Russia's position near his country's borders have not changed significantly over the past year and this allows Oslo to fulfill the requirements for strengthening defense capabilities agreed upon with NATO. So we can fulfill those plans and those decisions with content in the next years, but we need to speed up. We need to do it in two to three years to make sure that we are ready for whatever might happen. He stressed, the Norwegian parliament is set to approve a plan to nearly double defense spending over the next 12 years to adapt to threats from Russia. The focus will be on the capabilities of the military naval forces and air defense. Norway aims to achieve its NATO spending target of 2% of gross domestic product by 2024 with the level expected to reach 2.7% of GDP by 2030. A number of European NATO countries have been raising concerns about the risk of Russian aggression in the near future. For example, German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius said in January that the alliance should prepare for a Russian attack on a NATO country within five to eight years. Polish President Andrzej Duda is also concerned that Russia may soon have the military capability to attack NATO as early as 2026 to 2027. At least four people have died, others are missing and thousands have been forced to evacuate after torrential rain at the weekend caused widespread flooding in Bavaria of Germany. Water submerged streets and highways, broke dams and derailed a high-speed train. The historic city of Regensburg, with a population of 150,000, announced a state of emergency as the water reached a critical point amid fears that record deluges of 2013 and 2002 could be repeated. In the small southwestern town of Ebersbach in Baden-Württemberg, the water pushed through a highway wall. In both Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg over the weekend, several dams broke, in some cases leading to flooding of entire neighborhoods. One of the worst-hit towns in Bavaria was Masching, about 80 kilometers north of Munich. About 800 people were evacuated after a nearby dam burst. The carmaker Audi has suspended production at its Bavarian plant in Ingolstadt because of flooding from the river Danube. Bavarian Minister President Markus Söder said conditions in the region remain critical and tense, with water receding in some places but new flooding and evacuations elsewhere. He noted that water levels are expected to rise in Regensburg and farther down the Danube River. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who visited affected areas, said the flooding was a reminder of critical environmental challenges. We cannot neglect the task of halting man-made climate change, he said. Nancy Faeser, who, as Germany's interior minister, is responsible for disaster response, traveled with Scholz. She told local reporters that coordination and organization work much better. The German Weather Service warned of more heavy rain in southern and eastern parts of the country.